monochrome welcome back to another video today i want to just show you guys a terminal music player that isn't too much of an effort to work with if you are used to terminal music players you might know a program called ncmpcpp which is a complex program because it is just a front end for another program called mpd so we have to install both mpd and ncmpcpp and then configure both to work and then run mpd in the background and stuff like that it's, it's a lot of work just to play music I have found another program that is very simple to use and uh, it's just a better experience I think for little to no configuration. The program that I'm mentioning is called Music Cube but with music with the K and cube with the C I don't I don't know why the name is like that but anyway there is a website that you can go which is very minimal and just shows you what the program is capable of it is quite actually powerful but a lot of features like running a server so you can connect to your phone and play music from your desktop to your phone and stuff like that i don't really use any of it so i don't know how to use any of it i just use it for the simple basic music playback features this is how the user interface would look like i will show that in a few seconds if you are on any kind of distribution that runs Debian packages, you know, apt packages or you are using RPM based distribution like uh, Fedora and any other RHEL based system or OpenSUSE and other SUSE based systems, all of them use RPM so you can install uh, Deb as you can see this is the Deb package. This is the deb rpm and you have a tar.bz if you want to just extract the file and install it yourself. It is available for macOS and Windows as well. And there is an Android application which runs, which connects to the desktop client. Also there is an ARM build. Since it's a simple light program, you could run it on a Raspberry Pi and use it as a home server and a music server, something like that. If you are on Arch Linux, let me just open up a terminal that is easy to read. Music Cube. If you are on Arch Linux, you can install Music Cube dash bin that will install the binary version, and regular Music Cube will install the you know, compile the pro program from scratch. I don't know why you would want to compile software anyway. So let me show you how it looks. Music Cube, just run Music Cube, and this is you the user interface. The first thing you are going to actually see is setting. This is going to be the first thing that you will see. Uh, this is quite simple to use. What you have to do is hit Tab. This is red layout, as you can see, this is red. If something is in red, it is highlighted, and uh, you can use arrow keys and Tab to move around. When you hit tab, you can just select which folder you want to, you know, add to your music library list. So right here, it says music home monochrome music. That is the folder that I have music on. So if you have multiple folders, you can add it on the left with space and it will show up here. If you want to make changes like changing pulse audio to pipe wire, you can do that here. And a few other features that you may or may not want to do but this is the only thing you have to do in configuration setting just add the folder you want to listen to and then the bottom there are these letters if you press those letters that um, panel shows up so if I hit A I go into the library mode now we have different settings here these are all the music that I have I don't have a lot so if I want to listen to a song it is very simple all I have to do is hit enter but let me open up a music that does not have any kind of copyright so I don't get sued uh, let's see if you hit T you get track view which is a, uh, a, f a format where you can l look at all the song names but also you can search for it mouse is working I think mine doesn't work but I am pretty sure mouse works sometimes maybe something is wrong with my Linux installation but I, I, I am pretty sure mouse used to work anyways it's quite easy to use any without a mouse 
that it, it's not that big of a deal. Let's search for Scar Scarlet Fire, a non <laughs> That, that's pretty much it. It just opens and plays music. You can just use tab to select the volume and then increase volume, decrease volume using the arrow keys. Same for music. I can just I can hit left and right and then the music playback. No, you can go forward and backwards. The shuffle and repeat is on is not available through tab. You have to hit comma and full stop. You know the the bracket left and right angle brackets. Comma would enable shuffle and then this uh, period will enable repeats. That's it for the tra tracks. Filters will let you filter based on albums, artists and genres. If I want to listen to Aimer, it will search for Aimer and it's an artist. So it shows up all the songs of Aimer that I have. Play Q just li lists all the songs that is currently playing. There is nothing else that you need to know. Settings is available through S. And one thing that you might want to know is key bindings. There is an option in settings for key bindings where you can change key bindings and learn all the key bindings that you want to use. But another feature is you can press question mark on the keyboard and it will automatically show up. Beyond that, there is nothing else that I need to explain. It's such a simple program. I don't know how the daemon system works where it will connect to your phones and stuff. I don't know. I don't really use any of that feature. So this is all I do. I use it for this is how I use it and uh, that's kind of it. Maybe a quick like a slight difference is in this user interface is that I run a very small term a font and I also have black and white colors which isn't possible by default because it will have a different you know a color to solve that issue all you have to do is go into settings let me just close my go into settings and then here in the color theme the default would be this color scheme let me just close and open this is going to be the default color scheme so if i open music cube on my other terminal instead of black and white as you can see it's a it's a different color to change the colors you only have to just change the color scheme to the few options that you have or eight bit eight colors which will just take the colors from your terminal and you can also have a transparent background enabled if it is enabled and your terminal is transparent then the window will also become transparent 